let's look at the types of storage systems. So they are three. We have the centralized stores, decentralized, and then the impressed stores. We are going to look at them one by one, and we shall start with the centralized store or centralized storage. As you can hear, centralized, like meaning it's one, it's stored in one place. So here, storage is done in central stores or warehouses of a given organization. Like if the organization has like 10 branches, the store will be at one branch. And every branch that needs those materials is supposed to get them from that one particular branch. That is centralized storage. When all the materials are stored in one place. So what are the advantages of storing materials in one place? First is that smaller stocks are needed. Secondly is that lesser staff will be required to manage the stores since they will be in one place. Then paperwork will be minimized because if they are stored at different branches, every branch will have to have paperwork. But if they are stored at one branch, meaning paperwork will be reduced, then the costs, the control of stock levels is eased. If it is one place, it is easy to control compared to when it is in different places. Then better security measures can be ensured if you know that something is in one place. But if they are in different locations, you'll have to put security away, which is hard. Then less risk of deep duplication of items of stock. Let's look at the disadvantages of centralized storage. First is that there will be higher transport costs and increased handling. Like in case someone from Dira branch has to travel all the way to the Kampala branch to get the required materials, transport will be high and then materials will also be passing through very many hands to reach the user, which is not good. Then the second disadvantage is that there will be inconveniences to the person. Like... It will be difficult for them to handle. Like you, you cannot need something urgently. You have to wait for it to first be transported from the central store to reach you. Then increase risk of one location. Like putting all your eggs in one basket. In case something happens to it, it is all gone. Then delays in distribution to branches because of the distance. And all that yeah so that is all about the centralized storage then decentralized here it means that materials are held and issued by sub stores in each department like each department or each branch has its own store the Lira branch Arua branch Mbale they all have their own stores that is the decentralized storage and its advantages and disadvantages are the vice versa of the uh, centralized. Then the last storage system is the impressed storage. So under this system, materials are received by the central stores, but at the same time, they are issued by sub-stores on the basis of impressed system, like the some materials that are kept in sub-stores. They say at the branches, but then the company still has a central store. So the impressed system is a mix of both the centralized and then the decentralized, whereby some some materials are kept at the central store and some are kept at the substores, maybe at the branches or each department. 